Well, Mom, we're 10 minutes into our cross-country journey. Yep. Raining. It's awesome. And what do you think? <laughs> he's not excited. This is the quietest he's been the whole journey. Cars full. Turtles back there. This is how he's been the whole time. And will probably be the whole entire journey like this. Roger, what do you think? He doesn't ever get tired of that. Poor guy. All right. Bye, Virginia. Well, we're what? An hour or so into our drive. And you have a calm down even a little. Has he? Nope. Nope. Not really raining anymore, but it's still pretty menacing. But Rigel here. Hey, Rigel. Are you calm at all? Look at those toys. There's a moose, monkey, bone, rabbits back there, squirrel. Hate. Hates. He's probably got more space than everyone in this car and hates. Oh well. Well, Rigel, mommy's downstairs getting a load of stuff out of the car, but I would say that we have successfully arrived in Nashville, haven't we? Here's the turtle who's getting ready to molt, so his shell is a mess. When it dries out, you can see all of the spaces where his shell is going to peel off. Otherwise, he's fine. He doesn't change much. Dog, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's pretty great. This is a dog-friendly hotel, so that's pretty nice. This guy is super animated because he's been in his little cage all day. And we are up on a balcony way high up, and Rigel would love nothing more than to go outside on the balcony, but that is certainly not going to happen, is it? Yes. All right, well, good night. Well, it's the morning in Nashville, and we all just woke up, and this man here is fascinated by this mysterious thing he's never seen before. He doesn't understand it. He likes watching them go by, but he can't figure out where they're coming from. It's very strange. Here, let's see what it looks like. Here's a... What What's happening here? You see them go, but you can't seem to figure out where they're coming from. This is awful strange, Rigel. Hey, Rigel. Tail up. Well, this is certainly giving him something to think about. This is like watching TV. Look at that. This is just like watching TV. Where'd they all go? Oh, there's one. Well, we should be hitting the road to get to Oklahoma City today. Well, ma'am, here we are, somewhere between Memphis and Little Rock in Arkansas. And we all got out and everybody had to go to all kinds of bathrooms. And the car seems to be holding up okay. Hey, Roger, what do you think? I think the Thunder shirt is helping him with the ride a little bit, but he's pretty overstimulated. He's also, Roger, you want to finish drinking water? He's doing pretty good. And then let's come over here. Come here. Come here. No, we can go over there. Come here. There's the turtle. Can you see him in there? He's hanging out. He's doing turtle things. All right, let's go back. So. We've already been around, we've been around the building three or four times already, so probably do that again, and then we'll be back on the road. Well, Mama? Yeah? You'll notice that I'm the driver. We're not going anywhere. Oh, uh, this is bad. There's road work, and we have been stopped for maybe a half hour. 
And when we stop, we think we're going to get out and run around. So this is a ball of anxiety. Even though he has his thunder shirt on, it doesn't seem to matter. Rigel, you're dripping. Rigel. Rigel. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I think he's crazy. He's crazy. Yeah. Still not moving. Those people are moving. We're not moving. So, got some Gatorade. Got the bear. Got the turtle back there. And just hanging out. We've discovered something now that we're stopped and this lane next to us is closing. This guy hates... The delineator barrels. So I figured let's let's record him as if we scoot oh. ahead. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, it's gonna get us. It's hey. definitely gonna get. Us. Is there another one out there? I can't see. I can't see. Can't see. I have to wait. It's pretty active. What do you think? It's protecting us. Well, it was awful scary. It was definitely going to get us. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's another one. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Mom, show it to him. Rigel? Rigel, what's this? What, what, what's what's right there? there? Rigel, Rigel, what's this? Rigel, over here. Zero miles an hour. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is there another one? Yep. Oh no. Oh no. Well, they're, they're doing road work for 20 miles, so we have lots to look forward to. Alright, well, we are in Fort Smith, which is right on the Arkansas Oklahoma border. Come on, man. Let's go back. And so we, Jen is getting dinner at Taco Bell, and I am walking. This craziness. Come here, man. Let's keep going this way. Let's go back to the grass. Rigel, there's grass. Yeah, let's go into grass. Come here. He looks pretty funny in his little shirt. Rigel, come on. Let's keep going. He does not do well being cooped up for this long. But the car looks all right. You know, the roof rack is staying on. This guy is a madman. And so we're going to find a way to tether him to all this, and then we'll eat here. So, till later. Well, after a combination of listening to Busta Rhymes and eating a bunch of Taco Bell, it looks like this guy may finally be tired. Yeah. Look at you. Roger, do you want to lay down? Roger, lay down. Why don't you lay down? Roger, lay down. That is a face that had Taco Bell all over it. So spoiled. He wouldn't eat his supper unless it was mixed with chip, cheese and crumbled chips. Oops. Sometimes the bumps alert him. Well, he's doing good, though. Right, ma'am? Alright, bye. He likes to sleep to hip hop. This is how Rigel responds to the Sonic drive through. It's a magic place that you drive up and food happens. Rigel, chill out. Well, we are stopped in Oklahoma City for the night. And I put this guy on the long leash so he can run. Go running, go! Go! You can go running, go! Roger, go run! Maybe later on we'll come back out with tennis balls or something. Oops, now I'm gonna get all caught up. There he goes. 
and there's corn. Oh, and there it poops. Well, I don't have a bag, so I hope nobody notices. So, anyway, I don't think anyone cares about this field very much. So, we won't watch Rigel poop. We'll let him have a minute, but... Oh, there he is. No pooping anywhere. Nobody saw anything, right? You clean your paws. But this is... We're right next to a giant casino called the Riverwind Casino. And here's our sleep in. And here's Rigel. Getting to see all the things. Just happy as a clam. Wait, Rigel! What's over there? Go, 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 go! Oh, get some energy out. What's that? A bus? Do you need to go get it? He actually stays in range for the most part. Even when he's on this long leash, he stays pretty close. But, you know, he's been known to run, so we can't leave him fully off. All right, bye. I've had farmers, now I've had pharmacists call and say, you know, they just got 60 tablets of Percocet filled like three days ago. Do you still want me to fill this? Okay, okay, I'm good with that. No, don't fill yeah. it. <laughs> like, but this was completely yeah. out of nowhere with no context. <laughs> <laughs> that one just see, it, right? see, and I and I I know I know how your mind thinks. The phone goes click, and you think, what a moron. <laughs> Well, that one was probably deserved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rachel. But anyway, it's, uh, you know, they're real tedious parts to right, this. And, right. and I've been reading up on uh, USP, it's called USP Chapter 797 Standard. How's he doing? Finally asleep. Not interested. We are parked at a Jack in the Box. We're all very tired. We're still just on the far side of Albuquerque. Rigel wants to run around. Here, Rigel, do you want to come up here? Rigel, do you want to come up here? I have a feeling he's going to bark at our officer friends. There he goes. I have a feeling he's going to bark at everyone. Rigel, do you want to eat your supper? He doesn't want to do anything. It's too hot. Right? Is it too hot? You sure happy to be outside, though. So we'll see where we get to tonight. Roger, do you want to come up here? You want to sit up here? There you go. Oh, you, but stay here. Oh, oh Rigel. Uh, nobody wants your paws on their table. Well, look at how gross these paws are, too. Look at all, all gross paws. So, anyway, here we are. And now he's calming down. And so, good boy. Well, man, I mean, don't get stuck. This is uh, our stop for the night, which is Holbrook, Arizona, which looks like it was left behind in the 1900s. And Rigel, every hotel we've stayed at has wanted to go in the pool so bad. Look at him cry. So the problem is there's no grass anywhere, so we've had to learn to pee on rocks, which was an adventure. But other than that, Rigel seems to be doing pretty good. There's a dog howling off in the distance. He wants so bad to go into the pool. But anyway, so we're gonna go relax a bit and we'll be on the road tomorrow. Well, we decided that we were gonna go to this rest stop that we saw on the way in, and little did we know, this rest stop has a dog park. So we're gonna throw the tennis balls around. Look at this man. This guy is so happy. Roger, what's in here? What is in here? All right, Rigel. All right, do all the gates look sealed? Looks like it, doesn't it? Get in the airlock. Oh, man. Airlock. Air okay. Okay, Rigel, wait up. Here. This way. All right, Rigel. Boom! Oh, my goodness. And off he goes. Look at him go. Well, we're off to have fun. Well, I think this guy likes the dog park. He likes looking at the trains. He likes looking at mom. Let's see how he does. One. Roger, what's this? One. Two. Three. 
we go! Here he comes. That's a happy pup. He's getting all his energy out so he sleeps real well in the hotel. We could have been in a wigwam. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Wait, let's see how he... That's Bonk. tired. Bonk. There is an animal hole. I wonder who lives in there. Oh, well. Here he comes. Bye. Hey, what you think? What's this? Come here. What's that? Well, Rigel has made it to California, hasn't he? Come here. We are here, and our Rigel is happy as can be. He's wanted to jump in every single pool that we've been to at every hotel, because every hotel had a pool, but we haven't let him. So now that he has one, it's funny that he's scared. <laughs> oh, he's pooping right on the concrete. Oh, no. <laughs> well, man, you've pretty much had a pretty exciting day. Look at all this food here. You got to run around. You had a bunch of freedom. Where are you looking? You were so good last night. You were pretty well behaved. Yeah. Was perfect. We snuck out once. Oh. Yeah. You, cool. you didn't bother Gabby at all. All your toys and food up there. Come here, man. You did pretty good. Do you want to go see the outside again? Now you're getting ready to go back on the road. Come here, you want to look outside? There's bacon bits inside this. That's what he wants. Though he hasn't had very much of an appetite since we've been here. Oh. And he's got a bunch of new toys. He didn't need his food. Well, hitting the road soon. No, there's no, no, nothing I need to narrate about this. It's just all awful. Show what Rigel's thinking about. It's pretty awful. Well, no. Rigel is a guest in a new house and has to learn to not be the dominant one. So Rigel has to wear his football helmet and deal <laughs> with all this madness here. And Rigel is just going to be catatonic until he has tools to assert his dominance, but we're just going to wear him down. Yeah. Alright, well, we have arrived in Sacramento. I know.